Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Icon A5. So this is like a drone uh, flying airplane. This, this is pretty cool. So also, I will talk about Uber Fly, Uber Elevate. And also, I will touch on the uh, officials, the uh, monetary authority uh, in Singapore. They talk about uh, cryptocurrency. They are not security. And actually, they speak in consensus meeting. And also, I will touch on Tron. So they have a new products coming up. And SEC, of course, they postponed the uh, Fanet Bitcoin ETF decisions. Just in case you're new to the channel, just to remind everybody that we have an airdrop coming up for EOS. So this is Yosh. And uh, the airdrop will be on October 16. Snapshot will be on October 16 as well. So this is a smart contract on EOS platform. So for every 100 EOS, you're going to get two uh, EOS token. So you can check it out. So make sure you transfer your EOS out of the exchange to, to your EOS wallet in order to qualify. Also, Crypto Pesos is going to have an airdrop as well. And this project is created by EOS Venezuela. And the snapshot will be on fourth week of September. So make sure you transfer your EOS out of the exchange to your wallet in order to qualify. Also, you need to register as well. And EOS Bet airdrop, uh, this is an interactive airdrop. And make sure you use a Chrome browser to uh, access this website. And you have to log in with your scattered wallet. You have to, pay, uh, to play the dice game in order to qualify for this airdrop. If you play the dice, automatically you will get some EOS Bet airdrop. So uh, EOS Bet airdrop, uh, as a token holder, you are going to get some dividend at the end of this year. And they're going to do profit sharing. So you can check it out. If you are um, interested, you can click the link below. And that will help out my channel as well. And Tribe is also have some giveaway right now. And currently, they are in beta stage. So you can earn a bonus of 100 Tribe token and uh, just by signing up. So this is like Steam on the EOS platform. So you can check it out. Also, so let's talk about the icon. So icon A5 is not, is not the icon or ACX, uh, those are cryptocurrency. But this is pretty cool. Basically, you can own one of this plane. You can fly in, uh, just like a drone. Uh, but this is a bigger version of drone. You can uh, basically, is a fly, you can fly uh, with a plane and all that. So you can fly icon, there's a spot flying and all that. And also, you can uh, you can be a pilot. So you can they have a flight center. How you can be a pilot, and also you can land landing on the water as well, which is pretty cool. And so <clears throat> so right now they're in back of you right now. Also available in temper as well. That is so cool. Uh, so basically, you can fly one of these uh, goodies. You know, this is like a drone. But a bigger version, and then you learn how to fly and all that. So they will uh, teach you the uh, different. Uh, you can get your pilot license, and this I think this is will be more user friendly than the traditional um, airplane. So this is this is pretty cool actually. You can you can land on the water. This is a this is a good this is a very good idea, and also. Um, you can do some spot flying and all that. So see, you can land on the beach. And so, so this is all the pictures, you know, you can flying and all that. Maybe after, uh, and also you can buy one of this uh, airplane. Um, <clears throat> so let's look at the photos here quickly. So here you can see the flying and all that. And uh, so you have different pictures. And also because of the traffic jam in some of the city, you probably you probably won't want to get one of this, but then you have to find a place to park your airplane, right? But that is so cool. And then you can just uh, tow this thing, basically just like a boat. 
uh, back to your house and all that. So you can basically tow this uh, just like a boat, you know, back to your house. Um, so this is so cool, actually. And maybe after you become one of the crypto uh, millionaire, you can get one of this. And then next up, we're going to talk about Uber Elevate. Uh, basically, it's an Uber fly, and basically because of the traffic congestions in some of the big city like Los Angeles, uh, Miami, or uh, or Dallas, or some other big city, so basically they have an Uber Air, so <clears throat> so you can uh, fly with different uh, places in different airport and all that. This is like a drone, but it's a it's a drone, and then it's like so this is like uh, Uber Air, so you can check it out. So they have different uh, places. You can go to uh, San Francisco, to San Jose. Uh, you can skip all this traffic. And then if you take cow train, cow train it will be like two hours. If you do Uber Air, it will be uh, one hour, 40 minutes. And then you don't have to go through. And then the price is not that bad. It's like 129 uh, bucks and all that thing. And this is good for the city, with, especially with the uh, traffic congestions, um, with the busy hour and all that. So you can check it out. So Uber Air, I talked about Uber Air, Uber Air probably a few months ago. So you can check it out. So another thing I want to talk about is the regulations. Uh, in Right now, uh, I think uh, early on they have consensus in Singapore. So Damon, uh, Damon Penn, uh, the head of the Monetary Authority of Singapore Technology Infrastructure uh, Office for Fintech and Innovation, they recently expressed his belief that no existing cryptocurrency token should be subject to security legislation. So basically, uh, crypto, crypto token should not be treated as security because I, I think early on SEC talked about that um, Ethereum may be considered as security, but then they said it's not, but then, uh, you know, it's still gray area, we don't know, but then uh, in Singapore right now, they have a, uh, I think they have a consensus early on, they, I mean, in Singapore, they embrace technology, they embrace a uh, cryptocurrency, and they're very open-minded um, compared to, I mean, it's much more progressive compared to the US, basically. <clears throat> So they talk about their different types of token, utility, payment, and security tokens. Uh, the monetary authority uh, of Singapore they does not intend to regulate utility token that are used to uh, access certain services, but a payment uh, service bill is expected to be enacted by the end of this year to apply to payment token which have storage and payment values. And um, also, uh, as you see, they talk about that the uh, uh, the accounting, the bookkeeping is the responsibility of the firms operating with cryptocurrency. And basically, they're saying that you cannot rely on the distributed ledger technology such as blockchain or smart contract. And they have to continue to maintain the book, uh, appropriate books and records. Uh, I think you know. I, I think U.S. Uh, need to be more progressive, you know, compared to a lot of uh, country like Malt uh, Malta or Singapore uh, or some other Taiwan or some other Asian countries. They uh, or Korea. They are very progressive in terms of blockchain technology, and if more regulations is just uh, inhibit the growth of blockchain technology as a whole, and also uh, it just if. If the company have so much uh, regulation in the U.S., they just move to somewhere else. You know, they can just move overseas. So I think this is a good move for uh, for the uh, for the uh, cryptocurrency because uh, right now one of the um, uh, monetary authority of Singapore is already saying that uh, crypto is not security, basically. <clears throat> and also, Tron they announced new products and token sales. So um, right now they uh, introduced Tron Web. It's a front-end uh, JavaScript uh, API, and they basically they are help to connect third-party projects to the Tron blockchain. And also they have a Tron uh, box. They soon will release. Is this is basically just like Tron Web, and that can be used to build decentralized apps on the Tron network. Had, and also the company has announced the launch of a new decentralized open source trading platform 
Tron Watch Market and its token sales. So Tron Watch Market is basically a decentralized trading environment for traders holding the Tron token. And all the transactions on the platform will be in the form of smart contract and security company can audit and because this is an open source system. And um, so there will be regular update added to the uh, added from individuals to improve the platform. And also the platform means to bring the uh, together those who trade Tron token and be uh, you know just build a community and all that and in order to fund the Tron watch project they're going to uh, announce sales of its token with a hard cap of 5 million and a soft cap of 270 uh, thousand so a uh, user can buy Tron watch market token using the basic token system with the Tron at 0 0.01 or 0 0.5 Tron at, um, fixed price <coughs> So the thing is, um, uh, to me, they already raised a lot of money, and then now they, you know, laun launching this decentralized uh, trading platform. They want to uh, get another, another money from the user. I think, I don't think it's a good move, especially right now we are in a bear market. Who is going to participate? I mean, I think they already have, you know, they already raised tons of money. They have tons of money. They shouldn't ask for additional money. Seriously. So I don't think I agree with this. So, so what do you think about uh, Tron? They they're going to launch a trading platform and they're going to uh, do some token sales. I mean, I don't think I don't think it's good to the community to, uh, to the Tron community as a whole. So I talk about uh, I talk about yesterday. I talk about the SEC. They are going to set the new deadline for the Fang at BTC approval decision. So uh, the latest deadline will be December, the end of this year, and the SEC can extend it to February next year, 2019. Uh, probably everybody uh, know about uh, a prominent figure, uh, Andreas Antonopoulos. Uh, uh, so he's a pretty uh, prominent figure in the Bitcoin community, and uh, he's basically uh, not he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't want a Bitcoin ETF. Uh, he made a comment that I know a lot of people really want to see an ETF happen, and because of to the moon and the Lambo and all that. But I think it is a terrible idea. I still think it is a. It is going to happen. I just think it is a terrible idea. I'm actually against the ETF. I think a Bitcoin ETF is going to be a damaging to the ecosystem. Uh, I I agree with him because uh, if you go back to my previous video. They have a uh, rehypothecation and uh, commingling. So basically, they just leveraging your Bitcoin, uh, just like a derivative and all that. So basically, they can rehypothecate one Bitcoin to become ten or hundred Bitcoin. And also, those ETF is just a paper ETF. Basically, you don't own the coin. I mean, you don't own the coin at all. Uh, the bottom line is, you, if you don't hold your private key, you don't own the coin. That is the bottom line. And there's a lot of issues as well in terms of like voting and everything and also uh, if there's a hard fork, if you hold the ETF, you don't get the hard fork token, right? And also um, also with the ETF, they centralize the wallet into a handful of wallets that will be uh, subject to hackers to attack those wallets, you know? And the custodial issues is like they pull a whole bunch of money and then they may have a store in a hardware wallet per se I guess and but to me the thing is um, they're going to leverage they're going to leverage all this Bitcoin ETF just like uh, just like they're doing it in Wall Street right now that's what they are doing I mean you cannot change the, how they practice I mean this is this is what they do this is how they make money in Wall Street so maybe at the beginning there will be a pump of the Bitcoin price but in the long term, it's not going to go to the Bitcoin community or the cryptocurrency or blockchain uh, as a whole. Uh, because of the rehypothecation uh, re and gold mingling. So I think we got to look long term. I mean, in short term, maybe there's a pump. Just go back to look at the commodity market, just to give you an example. Uh, initially, there's a pump for the gold, uh, for the gold ETF, the paper gold. Or silver uh, SLV, uh, GLD is the gold uh, ETF in the uh, in the stock market, and the SLV is also. 
and after after they introduce the ETF, there's an initial pump, and after that, ever since then, there's a whole bunch of uh, suppre price suppressions for the market. Basically, they just this just create an extra instrument for them to create uh, to suppress the price of the commodity. So this will be the fate of the Bitcoin as well. So let me know what you think about uh, the uh, Bitcoin ETF and also uh, what do you think about the Uber Uber Air as well as the uh, Icon A5. Are you going to get one of this or are you can try one of this? This is so cool because you can basically landing on the water and all that. So you can just, you know, create a flight plan yourself. That is so cool. Uh, okay, and also Tron. Tron, uh, do you agree that they create another another token sales that uh, for the trading platform? So please comment below. I would like to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop giveaway, half or ICO. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. And remember, crypto deep divers. We, the people, take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in ICO or cryptocurrency has inherent risk. Please use your due diligence.